know, I have uh, both friends and relatives who are homosexual, who are gay, whatever you want to call it. Gay, lesbian, homosexual, all these various words. And there's the, the indifferent use of the word gay, which is used as an insult. Uh, on that. Uh, in fact, that, 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 that has been so overused, the word gay as an insult, that you can almost think of it as like just a, a separate, like, it's just an entirely separate definition. It's like if I say the Beatles, probably the first thing that came to your mind is the, you know, the, the rock band, right? Or band, band, whatever. Um, but I could be talking about literal Beatles, right? But we've used the term the Beatles so much that there, there's two separate definitions here. We could say literal bug thingies or the band. I think the word gay has been used so much that even on people who aren't homophobic uh, sometimes find, end up using it because we've we've used these two different definitions so much. But we've said the word gay in so many situations where no one is actually being homosexual. Nevertheless, I'd imagine that homosexuals feel offended uh, at the use of gay as an insult. Sorry about that. Yes, I'm saying sorry because sometimes I use the word gay as an insult. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I don't mean... I have friends and relatives who are homosexual, okay? <laughs> Maybe it's a bad habit of mine. Um, anyway. Marriage, though. Marriage. Very important. What makes it important? Try asking someone that sometime. Oh, because it you know, keeps a, a, a family together, you know? Uh, we can raise children that way. Oh, you gays can do that too. No, they can't. Yes, I, yes, I can. No, but because, you see, what you need is, um, uh, you know, you need a man and a woman to raise a child. No, you don't. You ever, you ever heard of a single parent, for one thing? You know, there's a, like a mom, for instance, and the dad is, is dead or divorced or whatever. And raises a kid, and, and the kid, you know, can turn out well. Most of us would agree that, if all possible, it would be nice if the dad were not divorced or dead or whatever. Um, but it's quite possible for one person to raise a child. Now imagine two people. That's better, right? Presumably if they both love the child, or they're both trying to be good parents. If the two people have to be of the same gender? Do you have any evidence to the notion that this is bad for the kids? I've not seen the evidence. Yeah, not from any um, really reliable sources, anyway. I've not seen it. I'm not advertising for these yogurt people. <laughs> but but it's marriage. But it's traditional. And the man and the woman and the... You know... Conservatives have this notion that it's, it, it, it has to be so wrong on a fundamental level. And, okay, we can get into uh, slightly squeamish area of the talk here. In that, if it were just an emotional relationship that was unconventional, that would still be controversial, but not quite as controversial. The physical relationship part... Like, that just anatomically doesn't seem to make sense. Just anatomically, it's like, but that, but clearly, the normal way, why why are you doing it this other way? And that, I, I think, helps to throw people's minds into gear. Okay, clearly this has to be wrong. But, apparently, it works. Like, one might say, you know, um, getting a piercing. It's okay if you think of it just a perfect normal ear piercing, which a lot of people do, right? You're 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 you're, you're sending a, a a sharp object through your flesh, right? That doesn't make sense. That just clearly that's just that's not you're not meant to do that with your ear or with your anything and putting sharp objects through it, right? I mean, yeah, people who have ear piercings aren't like evil people. I I'm not noticed any correlation there, <laughs> you know, and, and that sort of stuff. And perhaps homosexual relations seems weird to you, but guess what? They're still fine people. It's a weird notion for some people. They don't want to deal with that. <sighs> they 
always like to ter phrase it in terms of a threatening marriage. Gay marriage is threatening traditional marriage. In what way? Come on, man. You are on better ground trying to argue that gay marriage is somehow bad for the kids, which it's not. So, so you, are, you are really shaking ground in the first place there, and then you get into the even stupider notion of it's threatening normal marriage. In what way is your normal marriage threatened? Man marries a woman, looks across the street, there's a man married to a man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> now, now I can no longer love my wife. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, honey. I just noticed some gay people and duh, there goes our marriage. <laughs> oh, come on! Come on! What, what are you saying? What are you saying with this threatens traditional marriage? Do you think, like, like, is it, you know, the, the, the gay people who are getting married, like, did you expect them to get regular married, you know, but now that gay marriage is legal, they're going to get gay married? Some people, gay people do that, actually, but typically not completely satisfied with that because they're sort of gay or homosexual or whatever, and they wanted to get married to, you know, on the thing. They also bring up the specter of other untraditional marriages um, and kind of link that all together. Like, well, you know, first gay marriage and then polygamy. Which, number one, uh, gay marriage is not polygamy. And if you have, like, a, a, a bill, for instance, to legalize gay marriage, it doesn't, it doesn't say polygamy in the bill, then that's not the same thing. And you might make an argument that once gay marriage is legal, people will think about polygamy, but maybe we can think about it when we get to that. Like, you don't just judge a bill based on what someone might do in the future in a completely separate bill that might eventually come. No, just ju judge this one issue at a time, please. You can't just ball everything up together like this. You have to show me that definitively gay marriage would be uh, stepping in the wrong direction. It was wrong about gay marriage in and of itself. You've got to show me this. I haven't seen it. And item two, maybe polygamy isn't that bad. <gasps> People just freaked out on the other side of the camera there, you know. Uh, both, uh, both, 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 both regular people and gay people. I've heard this, you know, someone, someone wrote someplace that, you know, well, uh, there, there was a, you know, gay man, I think it was, was supportive gay marriage but didn't support polygamy. Just wanted to make that clear for anyone who thought otherwise. It says something about, like, uh, being gay is, a, like, a state that you're born with, but polygamy is just an activity. Like, you know, you're on shaky ground there. <laughs> because, like, what, 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 you know, gay people come out and say, look, I was born gay, there's nothing I can do to change it. And, you know, you have, you have no way to directly disprove them. The best evidence you've got is what this person is telling you, if they've been telling you consistently, you know, and so eventually there's a society where we were, we're coming around to, okay, maybe, maybe you were born gay, or even if it isn't a thing you were born as, maybe maybe it's just a thing you should be allowed to do. So if someone comes out and says, look, I was born to be a polygamist or polyamorist. I think polygamy, uh, most of the time, people are thinking of one man with multiple wives, and polyamory... It's just any possible combination involving more than two people. I think that's how it works. Anyway, if someone says, hey, I was born to do that. Hmm. Are you going to allow that, guys? Are we going to... Anybody? Oh, no, no, no. That, would, that would be wrong. It would be harmful to the, to the what now? To, to the children? Do we have evidence of that? say mm. a couple a couple of gay people in the audience now being crap now I know what it feels like to be on the other side of the equation now I'm looking at someone else's thing which seems weird to me on a gut level but I can't exactly explain it but I'm sure it threatens marriage in some way 